Olaf Johan, last minute, looking at his watch before the, the, he whistles for the play to start. And here goes the kickoff of the 1997 Kalyani Black Label Cup. Salgaonkar all in white, playing from left to right. East Bengal in their traditional, famous red and yellow jerseys, which have been famous all over the country, playing from right to left. And Salgaonkar playing possession football. Here's a long ball out. East Bengal not combining as well as they did in the early stages of the match. Shankar Lal Chakravarti, defensive midfielder. Juj, Juje Siddhi, Salgaonkar goalkeeper, who was in the thick of action some minutes ago. Confident goalkeeper who did well in the penalty shootout. Chatuni, who joined Salgaonkar as a coach this season, formerly with the Kerala Police. Midfield tussle, Amolo, immaculate in his timing, perfect timing. Savio Madeira, diagonal to Bruno Cotino, missed header by Amitabh Chando, this could be trouble. Nice diagonal ball to Jude Odige, back to Bruno Cotino, let fly and it's in the back of the net. And it's a great goal by Bruno Cotino, a real pile driver. And the East Bengal defence didn't close him down, Chatunis celebrating. And it's a great start for Salgaonkar and a good start for the match. Excellent football here from Salgaonkar, Bruno first makes that pass to Jude. Jude got away from the marker, controls it, lays it on for Bruno. Bruno comes in with this magnificent shot. Abulista didn't know what hit him. And Salgaonkar a 1 0 ahead. What a beautiful lineup. There's Bruno. It was perfect. They were follow through on his, on his shot, was magnificent. Abulista just couldn't do anything, just dived the right way. But the power beat him, the pace beat him. And yeah, getting the throw in. Most experienced East Bengal player. Finds another experienced veteran, Tushar Rakshit. Good cross in. Baitung heads on. Samuel Amolo has an excellent chance. And that's at the back of the net. And East Bengal have done it much to the thrill and joy of their delirious supporters. And the city of joy has erupted. East Bengal have done it to their two best players, Baitung Bhutia and Samuel Amolo. And they've shown they have the character and passion to come back. And we are now in for a real cracker. Well, I suppose really that long ball from Tushar Rakshit behind the defence he just lobs it over deep into the 18 yard box, Baichan gets his head to it, I think uh, it was Omolo who follows it through because the goalkeeper said he didn't come out, he read it, he was in two minds, there's that one from Baichan, Omolo comes in at the back of it and he just puts it in, Jujay Siddhi off the line, unclear, beautiful pass there, deep in the 18 yard box from Tushar Rakshit Absolutely fantastic equaliser, and it has not come a minute too early. Here on Star Sports, we are into extra time of the Kalyani Black Label Cup final. The golden goal rule applies for either of the team which scores, Salgaonkar or East Bengal. The match will be over. History could repeat itself. Last year also East Bengal went into this extra time golden goal phase against another Goan team. Noel will remember that, Dempo Sports Club. And East Bengal did get the golden goal, so let's see if history, which has an uncanny way of repeating itself, does so here. But Salgaonkar have got this fresh pair of legs, Gaspar Cresto up there with Bruno Cotino, the fresh pair of legs, the super sub. And he can be a dangerous customer, Salgaonkar playing from left to right, all in white. And East Bengal, which got a new lease of life with that dramatic equaliser by Samuel Amolo, playing from right to left. Rock Pereira, long ball out, misclearance. East Bengal get the ball away. Tushar Rakshit who set up the goal. Shamsi Raza, bundle of energy since he's come on. Falguni Datta to Sam Somitai Saiza, trying to turn away from Sebi Coelho. Shamsi Raza losing possession, gets it back. But East Bengal can't control. And throw in goes to Salgaonka. We have half an hour of extra time, 15 minutes each way. Shamsi Raza has been useful since he's come on now. He Long throw taken by Salgaonkar and it's Gaspar Cresto finds Bruno Cotino. Shankar Lal Chakravati clearing to Somitai Saiza, his first touch lets him down. Sanatan Singh gets the ball away. Savio Madeira, defensive midfielder. Good positional play and this could be a good build up by Salgaonkar. Trouble here for East Bengal and a chance to get the goal. But Abulista saves them. Remember one goal the match. Promising start by Salgaonkar. Savio Madeira floating it in. Bruno Cotino, the flag stays down. He could finish it off and he does. And 
the match is over and the golden goal has gone to the Cohen club this time. East Bengal, the cloud has silenced. Bruno Cotino has turned on the magic. And they've won the Kalyani Black Label Cup 2-1. Questions, I thought, on the East Bengal defence. No marking on the left side. Their heads are drooping, but this is really a great tactical win for Salgaonkar. They started with a flourish in the early bit of, of extra time. I'm not at all surprised about this, Novi. This really is a vindication of the strength of Goan football. They come to the heart of Calcutta, the mecca of football, and they show them how to win the Kalyani Black Label. This is absolutely a fantastic performance. I'm so proud of this team. I'm so proud of Goan football. And I'm sure the president of the Goa Football Association, Shibana Salgaonka, who is here, will be very pleased. So receiving the winner's check. Salgaonkar Club is the only club from Goa to have won the Kalyani Black Label Cup, which was earlier the Federation Cup. They won the Federation Cup twice in 1988 and 89. And now they've bearded the lion in his den. They've come to East Bengal's home ground and beaten them 2-1, showing greater commitment to organization and scoring the winning goal, this magical winning goal by Bruno Cotino, who's now back at his sparkling best. He scored both the goals in the match, which enabled Salgaonkar win the trophy and the match award.